I say, except all that hard work and effort has somehow made a bad thing much worse. Elliot, stop being such a whiny bitch. Fix this Epoch Pocket Game computer and prove your... Actually, I just want it fixed, really, mate. Um, if you could sort that out, that'd be great. You'd probably get a video out of it or something. Anyway, cheers. Love you. Bye. 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 Eh? Well, well, well. Here we are again, blessed with another opportunity to fix one of Stuart's things for free. Uh, last time, went... All that hard work and effort has somehow made a bad thing much worse. Well, last time didn't go too well, but I have here another opportunity to prove my worthiness to the master of tat. This is the Epoch Game Pocket Computer. I had to double check the name of it because I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I've never heard of this thing prior to, uh, well, a couple of days ago when I received it. So it turns out this is a very valuable thing. Um, boxed ones seem to be selling for between like 200 and then 500 pounds there's some listed for silly money um loose ones can sell for around 100 200 pounds it was released in 1984 which to put that into perspective it was actually five years earlier than the first dmg came out so nintendo weren't really the first person to be making portable games consoles with cartridges this is one of them right here this is reversi which is a a game that I don't really enjoy. Um, we have, however, got Astro Bomber, which is a far more fun game and one that everyone's going to be familiar with. Uh, and then this one, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, they slot into the side in a really cool way. This thing's obviously quite big, by the way. It's, it's probably twice the size of a DMG, uh, a little bit thinner. Um, so Astro Bomber plugs in, and as you can see, there's a little window here to see the game art is that what that is but it's very cute anyway uh, so we push it in and we turn it on and it's not playing Astro Bomber and that is the problem with this device wow the other problem is that that's not even showing up on the screen hang on is there a contrast wheel oh yeah there we go there we go now I can hardly see it in person, so that's fantastic. As you can see, Astro Bomber, it's not working. The problem with this is that it's not reading any cartridges. It has a built-in game, which is really just a uh, sort of an Etch-a-Sketch type thing. You can just draw things on the screen, uh, which I guess is fun, but that gets pretty old pretty quick. Um, so, we're gonna have to try and fix it. We're gonna have to open it up and see why it's not reading games. There is some shakiness going on inside so it could be dry solder joints it could be capacitors who knows i don't know yet i'm also not going to be doing any retro brighting to this i can see that it definitely needs it i'll give the shell a clean because it definitely needs that too but i'm not going to be touching the plastic just in case um you know it makes it weaker or whatever and this is quite a rare thing um also these have been like labeled for the previous owner who is called bob unless that's stuart's real name and he's keeping that from us um, anyway, so without any further ado, let's get into the repair and see what we can do. <laughs> oh dear. We shall start by reassembling it. Oh wait, hang on. We shall start by taking it apart. Once it was all apart, I discovered what appeared to be a hardened rubber belt and a small piece of broken plastic. The motherboard needed a serious clean. There was a rancid sticky brown substance coating the entire board. So I took my girlfriend's toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol and scrubbed it all up. Oh yes. I discovered once I have cleaned all the pins that I was able to play a game, but it was not reliable. It kept crashing. So I resoldered all of the cartridge pins and that made it work. Nine times out of 10. Next up, I cleaned all of the housing components and polished the screen.
Now it's time to reassemble. I fitted a new speaker, which got the sound working again, and screwed it back together. And there we go, I managed to fix it. I'm not gonna be doing a review on this thing, but I will show it working. Stuart is gonna be doing a video on his main channel. Uh, obviously I've got to send it back to him and he's gotta film that, but it will be sometime before Christmas. So if you haven't checked out Stuart's channel already, that'll be up in the card as well as in the description. I did send him a little video of it working. Uh, so here was his response. Ah, oh, thanks Elliot, thank you so much, man. That is amazing. You didn't have to fix the buttons, did you? Yeah, something tells me Stuart doesn't quite trust me yet when it comes to repairing stuff. Much worse. But, oh, oh, could have been bad. This is working. <laughs> Let me show you this thing working. So there is the on switch. And if you give it a second, you will see it's going to load Astro Bomber in the side. And we've got our sound here as well. So if I press start. There we go. The speaker is the exact same ones that are inside Game & Watches, so I took one of those um, out of a spare one that I had and put it into here to fix it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's working perfectly. As I said though, I'm not gonna do a full video about this because that's kind of what Stuart's gonna do. Uh, and that's the reason I'm fixing this thing is so that he can do a little video on it. But yeah, if I take this out now and turn it on, you can see a different game plays. And then if I take Reversi and plug that in, you can see, wait for it. Reversi works. And then this one, I've been looking and there's actually no pins in there at all. So I think this was just like a sort of a dummy um, just to, to slot in there, you know, just to keep it like a dust cover or something. The only other thing, I did say this to Stuart as well, is the pins on the end of this little uh, PCB in here are really worn down. Um, so it doesn't always make a perfect contact in there. Uh, it, it is gonna do it now for the video, which is convenient, but yeah, it, it doesn't always make a perfect contact. Um, but yeah, the uh, polished screen as well turned out pretty nice. But anyway, that is it, enough waffle. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.